11,000 athletes, 308 events and 28 sports. RTE is the official broadcaster of the Olympics. It happens once every four years. I'm John Bow, and I'm going to take you a look around to see exactly what goes on. Now we're in one of the editing booths here where all the material is chopped up and put onto your TV screens. There's so much that goes on behind the scenes, it's quite incredible. And we're also going to go and chat with some of the people that put it together. Now we're in the RTE production room for the Olympics. And the Irish rowers have just come in and they have medalled. And we are so excited here. Everybody you can see behind me, absolutely thrilled. That's the passion that the people in here at Orty are showing, all the journalists, all the presenters. And that's what it means for Ireland to get medal in the rowing. Now we're just outside the production office here in RTE for the massive thing that's going on here with the Olympics. We've just seen a medal actually won. I've got the face and the voice of RTE here in front of me, uh, Dara Maloney. Dara, what does that mean to Ireland now, getting that medal? Uh, listen, it's massive, I suppose, if you think of the last couple of days. We've sort of been on a bit of a downer. Um, the last Olympics thing sort of started at a great pace. Um, it's just the way it goes. And, you know, there have been some not-so-good news stories. And today, like, that's, that's the ultimate good news story. There too. The O'Donovans are fantastic characters um, and we're hoping to interview them on the programme later but things are going to go crazy for them now and rightly so and we've seen the, the, the shots from Skibbereen um, and they're just two stars, they're brilliant. Yeah, yeah. You can see, really see the passion here in the office of all the presenters, all the staff involved in this huge campaign here to get the Olympics together on RTE. You're the official broadcaster, we, RTE have been the official broadcaster for the last number of years for the Olympics. When did you start presenting it yourself? Oh wow, um, well television back in 2000 um, so since then and uh, I was in Sydney as one of the reporters and then from then like 04, 08, 12 doing the studio stuff here um, I did a couple of them for RT Radio so I can't even count how many that is my head is mush after watching that race um, but yeah quite a few Quite a few. When I walked into the main television centre, there was a big statue of Eamon Andrews there, and I was thinking, is there in, go in 35, 40, 50 years' time going to be one of Darren Maloney? <laughs> no, there certainly will not, absolutely not. I'm probably more likely to be kicked out of here fairly quick now, you know. Uh, but no, not at all. Listen, Eamon Andrews, my and, and his boxing background as well. No, that wouldn't be me now, I have to say. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be a fan of those things. So we got a silver medal, and that's in rowing. Do you think we can get another medal somewhere else? Yeah, the boxing. I think the boxing will, will kind of uh, steady down. Um, Stephen Donnelly's win last night was um, it was a big win. I'm not sure if he's going to beat the world champion, although I wouldn't put it past him in the, in, in the next round. But like we haven't seen Katie, we haven't seen Michael Conlon, Brendan Irvine as well. And I think it will steady down. It was a tough start. Um, and, you know, there were certain circumstances uh, and, a, and a succession of things that all kind of melded together and didn't go go for us. So, look, you know, and the sailors as well, Annalise Murphy, um, you know, having a fantastic time. And we, we've got ra race seven and eight for her today. And, you know, she came so close the last time. So um, I would I would think Annalise will get a medal. And you, you just don't know. There'll be, there'll be other stories as well that'll pop up. It's very early. It's only day seven. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, I'm hoping. I've been tweeted this week, wondering is there going to be any... I'm the table tennis commentator. Yeah. Wondering is there going to be any Olympic table tennis players in the future? I'm thinking maybe 15, 20 years. It won't be Tokyo, but there will be somebody. Yeah, well, that would be great, wouldn't it? You know, I have to say, it's, I, I, I love watching the game. That The, the, the skill in it... Um, it, it really, I don't get, I haven't got to see enough of it. It's one of those things that I will pick up as we go along. You kind of, unfortunately, you get a bit selfish with this thing, and you only focus on the stuff that you've got to do. Um, although I've been, the bags under my eyes, I've been up till half three in the morning watching Phelps and Ledecky, and I've just got hooked on the swimming. So anyway, that finishes soon enough. Well, listen, go. it's good to talk to you. Thanks, Darren Maloney, and the very best of luck with the RT Olympics. Now we're in the comms room here, that's the communications room and the commentary room here at the table tennis event. And I'm just getting ready to commentate on the men's singles final between Zhang Jika and Ma Long. And of course these booths, there's about five of them here on this floor, but there's so many more as well. I've represented Ireland as a junior and senior table tennis player, so that's one of the reasons why I'm here commentating on the table tennis sport that I love. So really you have to know your facts and figures, it's not just about going on, putting the headphones on, putting the mic on and talking you really need to know about the players themselves where they've come from how much training they've put in and all the different rules of the game but it's a fantastic event the olympics imagine 11,000 athletes 308 events and 28 sports and one of those sports is table tennis and i'm very happy and i'm just about to start now the men's final so i'll talk to you soon <laughs>